The foundation of our modern world, of our industrial world, is steel. Take some iron and add a little carbon, and you get steel. Strong enough and pliable enough to build bridges, railroads, factories, and ships. All destined by the rules of Mother Nature to turn to dust from rust. And we all know this because we see it in our daily lives. Everything we build corrodes away, falls apart, and falls down. Infrastructure is invisible to our daily lives, but it is critical to the welfare integrity of our daily lives, and our lives depend on steel. Now, the scale of infrastructure globally is immense beyond imagination. $300 trillion worth of constructed assets, with $3 trillion each year turned to dust by rust. Until that is today. My name is Benjamin Cook, and with my partner, Murali Balaguru, we have invented zirconia a spray-on ceramic coating that immortalizes the surface of steel using Mother Nature's secrets. Now, Mother Nature plays favorites, and her favorite for us is rock. Take some metal, add some silicon oxygen in the right ratios, and you get rock. And rock lasts and lasts. Now, humanity has known how to do this since time immortal. You take some clay, put it in the kiln. In a few hours, you get a brick or a dinner plate or a tile each of which will outlast civilizations. If only you could take that bridge and put it in that little kiln, you could coat it with ceramic and it would last forever and not rust. Well, now after two decades of university research at Rutgers, that's what we figured out how to do. Right on top of steel, even if it's a little rusty, without the kiln. Using nanotechnology, we can you spray zirconia on steel, and in a few hours, the surface becomes ceramic. Chemically bonded to the iron in the steel, that coating is never coming off. That steel is never going to rust. We can do this today. We can mimic Mother Nature because nanotechnology is available to us today, just now. Nanotechnology gives us the ability to form 10 billion bonds per square inch to the surface of steel versus zero bonds for modern paints and zinc primers, which critically can stick but cannot bond to the surface of steel or become part of the steel itself. In this sample I have here in my pocket has 3.6 thousand trillion bonds to the surface of steel. Imagine what that means to the scale of a bridge. So what to do with a technology that cures a three trillion dollar annual market preserves new and existing infrastructure, and reduces the cost of asset ownership 10 times. Well, you go to the oil and gas companies and help them stop their pipes from breaking and their refineries from catching fire. You go to the electrical grid managers and help them preserve their tens of thousands of miles of electrical grid without which we'll all need replacement in the next two decades. You go to the Department of Transportation Engineers and help them finally stop their bridges from rusting. You go to all these institutions and help save the billions of dollars that we would otherwise have to pay while preserving the environment, keeping the lights on, and keeping the bridges standing above the rivers instead of falling down into them. Best of all, you give my children and yours the affordable, long-lasting, non-toxic infrastructure they deserve to inherit. Zirconia is the end of rust. Thank you. <laughs>